We are super happy to accept the 2021 Ig Nobel Prize for Kinetics. We received the award for our publication. Mutual anticipation can contribute to self-organization in human quarrels. That paper was published on March 2021, so such a quick awarding made us very surprised. In our study, making a few people in a crowd use a smartphone brought fascinating results. People who use a smartphone while walking are often seen in everyday life. So, this award appreciates the value that common things can lead to scientific discovery. We hope that our work makes you laugh and think even in these difficult times. We conducted pedestrian bidirectional flow experiments intervening in their attention by making a few use a smartphone. As the result showed, anticipatory behaviors were disturbed at the individual level, and learn formation was delayed at the collective level. Those suggest anticipating movements one another facilitate organization of human crowds. Self-organization is an internal process of a group, where ordered structures are organized by interacting individuals. The process doesn't need a control by any external agent like a leader. Self-organizing groups are close to us. It's human class. Previous studies on human crowds suggested that pedestrians' interaction is essentially anticipatory in nature. In other words, pedestrians' motions are influenced by anticipated future positions rather than the current positions of their neighbors. The anticipatory human interactions have been reported in a wide range of real pedestrian situations and seem to be fundamental for collective human behavior. However, what the contribution anticipatory interactions make to human crowd was not well understood. In particular, there has been no attempt to experimentally intervene in the ability of pedestrian anticipation and its relation to collective behavior. In this study, we showed a link between individual anticipation ability and emergent pattern formation by the experiment of lane formation. Lane formation is a striking example of self-organization in human crowds. Let's say you are in a busy crossing. Pedestrians on either side start walking to the other side as the traffic lights turn blue. Then, unidirectional lanes are spontaneously formed in the bidirectional pedestrian flows. This phenomenon is a common experimental framework to investigate self-organization of human crowds and was used in our experiment as well. How can we experimentally manipulate the ability of pedestrians' anticipation during name formation? We can help with using the mobile phones to disturb the anticipatory abilities of pedestrians by visually distracting them. It's well known that mobile phone distraction influence on the behavior of a single pedestrian at a crossing. In particular, the use of mobile phone distracts pedestrian visual attention and makes their visual field narrow toward the traffic environment. Pedestrian's motion is strongly influenced by other incoming pedestrians even when they are well separated. So, the mobile phone task can intervene in pedestrian anticipatory abilities in human crowds. 54 male participants were recruited for this study. This number was decided considering appropriate density in the experimental corridor according to a previous study. They were separated into two groups, 27 each, and placed 3 by 9 positions at a random. On a verbal star signal, they started walking toward the opposite destination with their usual natural speed. Three participants side by side were selected from one of the groups and asked to perform single digit addition on the phone as fast as possible while walking. This video shows a typical result. At the group level, presence of the distracted pedestrians at the front of a group slows down the lane formation. At the individual level, not only distracted pedestrians but also the others had trouble avoiding collisions well in advance while navigating. In short, distracting just a few members in a crowd caused self-organization impairments. This study suggests the importance of mutual communication among people. We'd like to tell you two points. First, anticipation is mutual. Anticipation has been considered to be crucial for pedestrian interactions. According to our findings, 
people needed to pay attention to each other for avoiding collision early enough. So the anticipation can be two-way rather than one-way. The other is self-organization of human crowds can be improved when people are mutually anticipating their movements. In our experiments, distracting only a few parts of the group delayed playing formation. The two-way anticipation contributes to a smooth walk in a crowd, but one-way anticipation does not. Our study shows the first experimental evidence of self-organization contributed by mutual anticipation. Future understanding the mechanics of human crowd may ultimately lead to achieving safer and more efficient flow of people. We consider that mutual anticipation play a key role in the wide range of self-organizing systems. We expect that present findings will become a stepping stone for building future models of system developments on collective human behavior, biological collectives, and swarm robotics. By the way, in Japanese dialect, there is a word, kettaina, to describe things that are funny but strange at the same time. We believe that kettaina things stimulate your imagination and bring a novel discovery and a new invention. Ig Nobel Prize honors achievements that first make people laugh and then make them think. We would be very happy if our study inspired you to do something new. Anyway, se no. We, we are, are all, all excited to accept the Ig Nobel Prize. Prize. <laughs> <laughs>